In this video, I'm going to make a C program that's going to remove the vowels from a string. So I'm going to start off by making my string. I'll say car s is equal to, and I'll say this is the way. And what I want to do is remove any a, e, i, o, u characters from this string. So these i's, this e, and this a, they should all be removed from the string. And the way I'm going to solve this problem is I'm going to have a loop, and I'm going to have two counter variables. One counter variable is going to go through this string one character at a time. The other counter variable is going to help me build the new version of this string. And I'm actually going to build the new version of this string right where the existing string is. And that new counter variable is only going to be incremented when the character and counted by the other counter variable is not a vowel. And in that way, we're basically going to be setting a new version of this string that removes the vowel characters. And the last thing we'll do is we'll set the null terminator to be at the position of that new counter variable. So I'll show you what I mean here. If I say int cur position is equal to zero, that's going to be the counter that's going to go through every character of the string. And int new position is equal to zero, this is going to be the counter variable that's going to help me build the new version of the string. And then I'm going to have my loop here. So I'll say while cur position is less than the string length of this string, increment cur position. So cur position is going to be incremented no matter what through every iteration of this loop. And this loop is going to go up until cur position is equal to the length of the string. So in other words, it's going to go through every character of this string here. Now, because I want to use this strlen string length function here, I have to include string.h because string.h is the library that includes that function there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if the character that cur position is looking at currently, we're going to check to see if that's a vowel. So we'll see here if, and we're going to say, if s at cur position is equal to a, that's one possible value, or s at cur position is equal to e, that's another vowel, or s at cur position is equal to o, or s at cur position is equal to i, or s at cur position is equal to u. So when it's not the case that s at cur position is a vowel, that's when we do want to set the character at new position to the character at cur position. So when it's, th if this is a check here, like this code here is checking to see whether this character is a value, what we want to do is we want to do that setting of the new character and incrementing of new position when it's not the case that this character is a vowel. So I'm going to say not here. So I'm going to say, if it's not the case that this character is a vowel, do this work here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set s at new position here equal to s at cur position. And then we're going to increment new position here. So what's going on is we're always with cur position going through the characters in this string one, one character at a time here, right? But with new position, what we're doing is we're setting characters in the string to whatever s at cur position is. But if it's a vowel, we don't do that. If it's a vowel, we don't do that. So we only do this, you know, if it's not a vowel. And so what's going to happen is we're basically building a new version of the string in place where the existing string is, but we're just taking out the vowels from it. And so when this is all said and done here, this new position here, because there's actually four vowels in this string here, the new position, because it's only being incremented, when cur position is not encountering a vowel, what's going to happen is new position is actually going to be four characters less than current position, right? Because we're eliminating four vowels from the string. So we're going to have to actually set the null terminator of the string to be where new position is, because that's where we want the string to end now. So I'll say here s at new position is equal to the null terminator to end the string there. And then we'll do a printout of the string just to see. So we'll say s percent s slash n s. We'll put s just to see. And if I do a compilation here and then I run it, I get s and I get this is the way but without the vowels there. And again, just to go through it like one more time here, current position is always being incremented, right? It's always looking at the next character in the string. But new position is only being incremented when s at current position is not a vowel. When it is a vowel, we don't increment new position. And so what happens is that in place, right in this string, we end up building another version of the string, but without the vowels in it. And then we 
reassign the null terminator, we, we basically shift it up by the, the difference between new position and current position, and we shift it up so we terminate the string a little earlier than before as well, just, just to take into account the, the lack of characters because the values have been removed. And that's really it. And that's removing the values from a string in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.